Hey guys, Michael Gallagher here at Totally Sketch. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I will not be making an attempt at comedy today. This is my video for Project for Awesome, which is an amazing program that's put on every year. Uh, please check it out, the link is below. The organization I'd like to highlight called cancerresearch.org. Cancer is something that's very serious and has affected me personally, both in losing my grandfather last year and other beloved members of my family. This organization, Cancer Research, has done tremendous things in the area of cancer research, development procedures, and have, have really helped improve people's lives that have cancer. I'd love for you, if you can, to donate. I'm going to be donating a thousand dollars, so, but please give whatever you can. Um, go to the website, check them out, because it's fantastic. I'm about to play a little clip um, about the organization, about some people that have been touched by it. And uh, I'd really appreciate it if you watched it and rated this video because we want all the videos that have the Project for Awesome logo to go up in the ranks. So please, after this, I'm going to have a couple of links to some other videos. Go to them. Please rate them. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can spread a little good this holiday season. But I hope you and your loved ones are good. And uh, don't worry, there'll be more actual comedy sketches coming out soon. Um, but until then, have a wonderful holiday. I love you. And... Uh, you know, yay for Project for Awesome. Now go be awesome. <laughs> I've been sick for a while, but not sick as in really bad, you think cancer kind of sick. Um, they thought I had pneumonia, asthma, bronchitis, kept going back, kept getting bronchitis again as a diagnosis. It came back as stage four melanoma uh, present in my lungs and lymph nodes and later on my brain. Life stopped. Life stopped and we went on to autopilot. We didn't know what to do, where our life was going. When a patient first learns they have cancer, I think the natural reaction is fear. And many times their mind turns off, they hear the word cancer, and all they think is that this is a death sentence. You are lost. I mean, you're lost. You're absolutely out of control, lost in your bodies, like you've never had it before. I've never felt that kind of pain or that kind of sadness because all through cancer, I mean, I felt more, sim like, not symptomatic pain, but it was more chemotherapy-induced pain and chemotherapy-induced sickness. It wasn't cancer sick. All the cancer drugs that you're given kind of try to make it better but it never really works. The Cancer Research Institute is the only not-for-profit organization in the world that is solely dedicated to developing cancer immunotherapies. If we can channel the power, the unbelievable power that the immune system has and to direct it against cancer in a very specific way, we can develop, I think, remarkable treatments that are really going to change the face of cancer in the future. We have come an amazing distance Cancer immunotherapies are now central stage in cancer research. We're seeing FDA approval of cancer vaccines. It is going to be the next wave of therapies for cancer. The Cancer Research Institute's strategy here is to provide that extra coordination uh, and to provide the infrastructure to run these trials in parallel uh, in a way that supplements everything industry is doing all over the world, taps the best capabilities of academia, and in so doing, uh, pushes the entire field ahead uh, you know, in terms of a decade of progress in maybe a couple of years. Well, the Cancer Research Institute has been fundamental to our program, allowing us to connect with other investigators through the Cancer Vaccine Collaborative. And that's enabled us to procure reagents, write up studies to share data, and publish our work together. Over just the last 10 years alone, we've conducted more than 40 clinical trials in a variety of different cancers, basically testing 40 unique cancer vaccines. This is an amazing accomplishment. It was different. The treatment would be different than any of the other ones I had tried. And I had tried everything that was, that was at the time, FDA approved for melanoma. Um, I had done it all and all of it had failed. So I was very much hoping that it would be different than any of the other ones. So I think patients are very grateful to be participants in vaccine trials, especially patients who have exhausted all the options currently available. Right when you think that the door's shut, it's open just a little bit, and that little bit's all you need.
because I was, I was about done. I really was before this treatment started. I was about finished. The only treatments that will cure patients with advanced cure tumors, including metastatic tumors, are treatments that will induce a long-lasting response into the patient to be capable of coping with the development of its cancer. And this is, of course, biotherapies, and the first level of those is uh, immunotherapy. These immunotherapies make your own immune system fight the battle for you, so it's not like you're depending on something else to fight it. You're doing it yourself. The number one challenge to bringing immunotherapies to patients is really doing the clinical trials, and clinical trials are expensive. So therefore, one of the challenges is raising the money that allows us to do this. The Cancer Vaccine Acceleration Fund builds upon uh, almost a decade of work between Cancer Research Institute and the Ludwig Institute to try and find an effective way to study and facilitate development of, of cancer vaccines in early stage clinical trials. If the Cancer Research Institute had not funded these trials, we wouldn't have a program here. They've given patients here so much hope. We're very grateful to the CRI for that. The more money we have, the more trials we can do, the faster a cancer vaccine can get to patients. You know, we're very lucky to have two beautiful kids. People ask all the time, how did you get through cancer? Why did you fight? Why did you do all the things that you've done? And this is part of it. This is part of the reason. We're very lucky to have him, especially given all, all we've gone through. Cancer Research Institute really are the people, the doctors, the money that saved my life. Because that's what it comes down to. Without people giving funding, I wouldn't be here. My kids wouldn't be here, my husband wouldn't have a wife, none of it, none of it. All of that would have stopped to the day that I was diagnosed. People need to realize that when they give anything, whether it be their time or money to this kind of organization, they're giving back what people have lost. Cancer Research Institute and the people who work there gave me it all back. Gave me it all back.